Hi, everybody. This is Crypto Rich, working with you to get rich with crypto, filling our pockets with crypto profits. I have with me the creator and co-founder of an NFT project. I did a full interview with her. You should go check that out. But in this video, you're going to get a general overview about the Cosmos ecosystem. Using Wi-Fi without NordVPN could mean sharing your private stuff with more people than you think. NordVPN. Online security starts with a click. Ready to hop in the 6 four and cruise around the blocks. There's a storm coming to the underworld and the heat is on. Take over the blocks and call the shots. It's time to hustle or get hustle. What's it gonna be? Stay sharp. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. Don't let them catch you slipping. Only real gangsters thrive in the dope wars world. Hey, Yasmin, thank you so much for making yourself available. Hi, thank you. Do, do you want to say just a little bit about your project and how we started, how we started having this conversation? <laughs> yeah, so we started by uh, discussing our project House of Assets, yep. where we explained that uh, our goal is to is to create a safe space for collectors, artists to trade, connect, and earn. It with a peace of mind. Yes. So it's an NFT-based project. You can buy NFTs from this marketplace. And what's really great about these NFTs is they are connected to legitimate, viable, verified, branded companies. Yes. And in our interview, which people can check out, you mentioned a restaurant business that's going for a Michelin-grade star, whatever it is, plus also a luxury watch company from switzerland which i can't think what that might be and and also that that um there's well, we're working on creating really great value for our collectors and you have lots of other really really great things in the pipeline which we can't talk about publicly yet but people should go check out this website and when we were recording that interview i asked you we got well, we got talking about the cosmos ecosystem you said well what's not didn't really know anything about it so i thought well, why don't we just record the interview as an overview of cosmos ecosystem which is what this is so if you want to find out about the cosmos ecosystem and all the other assets and the way that they're doing crazy crazy airdrops and people making ridiculous amounts of money for free then this is the way to then this is that video now please subscribe comment like follow me on twitter crypto rich yt if you're watching this on youtube well you could have watched it quicker and sooner on odyssey plus there's other material on odyssey that youtube doesn't like so you should check that out all right let's see now uh cosmos ecosystem so your token is going to be on Binance Smart Chain and your NFT will be on OpenSea as an Ethereum asset because that's the largest NFT market. Yes. Yeah? However, you can. Now, I'm not a developer. I'm not a developer. You will be able to port it over onto the Cosmos ecosystem via Evmos, which is a new Cosmos project. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, what you... You, why you would want to do that on the Cosmos ecosystem is because it's incredibly, incredibly fast, incredibly, incredibly cheap to transact with, and the ecosystem is growing like crazy. Let me let me show you this, and then we can you know feel free to ask me questions, and I'll show you how it's growing as well. Okay, can you see this? This is a website mapofzones.com, and this shows the Cosmos ecosystem. Okay. Now, I'm not a developer, I'm not technical, but this is my understanding of Ethereum. If I think of, um, like, Ethereum is the ground, and on, the, on Ethereum you have these train tracks that run. Yeah. Right? And on those, those train tracks are the dApps, the decentralized ap applications. But the, um, but the ground is constrained, it's limited. So you get congestion on the train tracks because mm -hmm. there's too many trains running. Yeah. And then sometimes... You know, some if somebody's got more more ETH, they can pay extra so that their transaction or their train goes through quicker. Meanwhile, small players they just have to hang around and wait for the miners to process their transactions. So you get this incredible uh, congestion that leads to ridiculously high transaction fees because they're all running on the Ethereum chain, right? Now somehow Binance Smart Chain and the other EVMs have resolved that, so they're faster and quicker but they're still running that same basic principle. And, and then what happens with Ethereum and with Binance Smart Chain is, and I can, if I use the stable coins as an example, if I want to send you USDC, 
I need to have some ETH. Yeah. If I want to send you USDT, whether it's ETH, ERC20 or TLC20, I have to have some ETH or some Tron. If I want to send you BUSD, I have to have some Binance. And I have to have those secondary assets in order to pay the gas fees. The stable coins in the Cosmos ecosystem don't work like that. The biggest stable coin of all is UST. And if I want to send you UST, one UST is equal to $1. I don't need anything else. So I send you $100 worth of UST and you get $100. I don't need Luna or Cosmos or anything else because it is an independent blockchain. Like a solar system like the cosmos okay where the different planets you can fly from this planet to this planet to this planet to this planet they're all independent so there's no load on them like there is with eth and like i think could potentially happen with binance smart chain yeah. and then what you have are incredibly fast transactions times and incredibly cheap any questions about what i've said so far no that's great okay. these are the projects that are currently available on the Cosmos ecosystem. They're live, they're running, they've got their own tokens. Some of them have got two tokens. Okay. And is it is it like you can also have your own token there or do they? Yeah, you can launch your own tokens because it's fully decentralized open source. Okay. Now, here's what happened with me. In March, 2020, don't do this at home, kids. I did no diligence whatsoever, none. I had a little bit of crypto. I looked through CoinGecko, or maybe it was my Exodus wallet, and I thought, oh, Atom. Oh, I think I'll buy some of that. <laughs> <laughs> But that was, I think that might go places, right? That was the extent of my research. Yeah. So I bought some Atom, and then I staked it in my Exodus wallet. That was March 2020. I didn't buy a lot of Atom. Then in June 2021, so 15 months later, Osmosis announced that everybody who held Atom, let me see if I can find Atom here, Cosmos. Atom is the token for the Cosmos project. I can't, but it's somewhere here, right? It's the first one. It's the mother of this ecosystem. Okay. Anybody who held Atom is, uh, is going to, oh, here it is, Cosmos. So anybody who held Atom assets will get Osmo for free. Okay. Yeah. All I had to do was a very simple claim click a few buttons, and then I now have Osmo in my Kepler wallet. And Kepler is just like MetaMask, but nicer and better. So now I got Osmos for free. And they're, pay, and they're paying 500% APR. Wow. So I'm staking it like crazy. Every 24 hours I get rewards and I stake in a compound and I stake in a com compound. And then now Osmo has this fabulous decentralized exchange, the best, smoothest, sweetest decentralized exchange I've come across. Better looking, easier UI, faster, cheaper than PancakeSwap, or God forbid, Fork Delta, if anybody ever uses that, or Uniswap, or anything. Okay. Fabulous decks. Well, that would be great to check. For yeah. Your... Now, it gets better. Because I had Osmo, Juno launched. Where's Juno? I saw Juno earlier. Now, Juno has smart contract functionality. You can build applications on it. Here it is, Juno. Everybody who had Atom or Osmo staked got free Juno. Okay, so now I've just got free Juno. And then what happens? The market decides the price. Okay. So it's so you could say, well, you know, this could be a scam. Well, yeah, it could be. The project may go to nothing. They may just give away their tokens for free and then disappear. Fine. I got it didn't cost me anything. Yeah. Right. So so then I got Juno for free and then I'm staking Juno like crazy because they have high APIs. Now, it gets better. Because I had Juno, I got Chihuahua Chain. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Chihuahua Chain is a, is a it's very important asset. It's a coin or a token with a dog on its. It's a yeah. dog face token, yes. like Shiba Inu, like Dogecoin. Dogecoin. Yeah. Yeah. But it's better because it was paying 3,000% API in the beginning. Oh, wow. So I was compounding it like crazy. So then the high APIs encourage people. Yes, it's inflationary but the re they reduce over time, but it encourages people to hold on to the asset. 
So I got Chihuahua chain for free because I had Juno, because I had Osmo, because I, because I bought Atom. And then it gets better because I had Chihuahua chain, but I think you're getting the idea. I got Cerebus, and I don't know where that is here, right? Cerebus is an improvement on um, Chihuahua because Cerebus, Chihuahua chain only has one head. Cerebus is a dog face coin with three heads because that's what's missing. <laughs> but so it goes on. So it goes on, right? Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And there are others, you know, that, that do really useful, really useful things. Secret network. Because I have secret network, I got shade protocol, which is not on here, but it, it runs on secret network. And mm -hmm. secret network allows for DeFi, private DeFi. You know, you know, big companies don't want people to know where they're investing their assets, who they're yeah. lending to, yeah. who they're borrowing from. So it allows, so it brings privacy to that space. Mm -hmm. um, let me see. I think there are some NFT projects here as well. Stargate is an NFT project. Uh, Comdex trades synthetic assets like gold and oil. You can track trade off the gold and oil price. Luna, Terra is the sister coin of the US of UST stablecoin and it's fully decentralized UST gets minted terra gets burnt luna terra so that's why the value of luna terra goes up like crazy because here's a stablecoin that doesn't require a secondary asset and it's fast and cheap yeah now any questions about what i've said so far no sure. that was my point there's more these are the projects that are live currently, and most of them are traded on Osmosis Dex. Yeah. 46 zones, 46 planets, you could think, right? These are the projects that are coming. Oh, wow. 196 currently in development, and most of these will launch by airdrop. Okay. And the airdrops are different. They determine their own rules. So what happened here is that if you want to come with your token in this cosmos you offer airdrops for their users that they have you yeah you could do that and, and you get to determine it so for example if you were to launch your token on the cosmos ecosystem or a dual token or have it on both mm -hmm. because there are also bridges being developed yeah you could um say okay everybody who held atom because atom is the mother token yeah and or everybody held Osmo because you want to support that DEX mm -hmm. and or people who hold stars because they're an NFT project and you want to support NFT projects and partner with them and or Chihuahua chain because you think all coins should have a dog on them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could just say that. Right. <laughs> it's really a thing, this dog. <laughs> it is really a thing. Like NFTs are a thing. Dog face coins are a thing. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Chihuahua Chain is much better than Doge and um, Shiba Inu. Okay. Because it's faster, cheaper. Doge is fast and cheap to send. Shiba Inu isn't. And uh, Chihuahua Chain has um, staking. You can stake Chihuahua Chain. You can't really with Shiba Inu. You can on their portal, but it, that's not fully decentralized, I don't think, right? It's fully stakeable, and they're adding smart contracts to Chihuahua Chain. So you're going to have a smart dog clever dog right anyway so uh these are the projects that are growing and they're growing by airdrops yeah. now here's what's happened with me i got atom then i got osmo and i was like oh my god and then i looked at the osmo the osmo decks let me show you the osmo decks i think the osmosis decks is just completely completely beautiful and brilliant and easy to use fabulous 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 decks it's so well designed and um, you, you just got to try it out to see for yourself, right? It's yep. um, very, very easy. Now, it isn't fully decentralized, the Osmosis Dex, but they have an API that is fully decentralized, which is Frontier or Osmosis. And pretty much anyone can, can list any shit coin or scam coin on that. So you do got to be careful, right? But it's a very, very easy, beautiful to use Dex, very fast, connects with Kepler. So, now, so I got Osmo. And I was making money, and it's completely convertible, easy to use on osmosis, because it's the governance token for osmosis. Yeah. So I told my son, I said, look, let me check this out. I'll try it out for a few weeks, and then I'll throw you some Osmo. And now he's trading. He's 17. You wouldn't believe the money that he's making, passive income, <laughs> <laughs> as well as his job at McDonald's, just, <laughs> just from these airdrops. 
and through compounding, compounding, compounding. And then I told my wife and then I told my family and friends. Yeah. And then I, and so I'm spreading the word and I'm giving away coins for free because I get them for free. Yeah. Right. Do you know, um, a friend of mine, very, very dear friend of mine, I, she was already into crypto. I told her about Osmo in August last year. She told me she got to a point where she's able to pay for her mother's care home fees just from her Osmo rewards. Wow. So what, what could happen with your project? You may not like this. You may not like this. You get to use a block. You get to take part in a blockchain ecosystem that's growing like crazy. That's growing for free. Where people are doing the marketing for you. That's fast, cheap, mm. offers smart contract functionality, and is open source. Nothing there would appeal to you as the co-founder of a project, I bet. <laughs> no, no. It's it sounds interesting. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely worth a look, right? And I, you know, I would recommend it. And then, you know, you've got SIF Chain as a DEX, they're competing with Osmo. So you've got competition as well in there. Uh, Sentinel, I saw Sentinel, I'm very closely connected to Sentinel, a decentralized VPN, more secure than a centralized VPN. Um, then there's Evmos. Evmos just launched. Mm -hmm. And Evmos runs on MetaMask and it runs on Kepler. It's an Ethereum virtual machine that bridges EVM assets over to the Cosmos ecosystem. So I could take my ERC20 tokens and my BSC tokens and run them on Cosmos and save even more money on fees. Oh, cool. Yeah. And Evmos have just launched. And, you know, people, they just airdrop their tokens. And they had a value, I think, on the first day. It may have gone down a little bit. $5 each. The market decides. Um, Osmo, when that launched, was about $4 each. It dropped to a low of about $1.20. It's been yeah. as high as over $10. It's now... Last I looked, about just under four dollars because everything took a dip recently. Yeah. So, <clears throat> but the market decides. Any any questions? Anything? No, but this sounds very interesting. I'm going to look, take a look at it after. Yes. Yes. Very good. Very good. Well, listen. Anybody who's watching this, do check out the Cosmos ecosystem. Do subscribe to my channel because I co cover the Cosmos assets quite a bit. And, and please do come and support me on Odyssey because I'm being shadow banned on YouTube. Do watch the interview that I do with. <coughs> with Yasmin about House of Assets and go check that out. And uh, between now and when I see you next, please keep filling your pockets with Crypto Profits, Crypto Rich and Crypto Yasmin signing out. All the best. Bye-bye. The world's most advanced cold wallet for the new generation of cryptocurrency lovers. Descent. Descent.